Hey guys, so this is a almost perfectly built chicken house. 80 meters long, 12 meters wide. And you can see this section, it's empty. We don't have birds inside here. On the other side, we already have our breeder birds. We have about 3,200 birds inside there. That's for both the males and the females together. These are breeders for our Issa brown chickens. But today that's not what I'm talking about. Today I'm not here to tell you guys about the birds, no. Today I'm here to tell you about the structure. I'm going to be telling you everything that we think we did right. This is like a blueprint for our chicken structures. All the houses that we're going to build, we're going to make sure that there's something close to this. So I'm going to be telling you everything that we think we did perfect and where we think we made our mistakes. So come along with me. Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Up. I'm Dr. Daniel, a no longer practicing medical doctor. I'm practicing poultry farming, very, very passionate about farming in general, not just poultry farming actually. You know, goats, sheep, cattle, bees, soon going into rabbits, chickens, geese. So if this is your very first time on the channel, you are in the right place. Just hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, that way you never miss out on an upload. So guys, this is not the very first chicken structure that I've built before. I've built different kinds of chicken structures, even on my previous farm. But the very first structure that I did build was almost something like this, just on a really, really small scale. I built a chicken house from two levels, down and up. And that was very important for me because at that time I had very, very limited space. So the structure that I built at that moment was able to accommodate about 1,600 up to a maximum of 2,000 birds actually because it was about 15 by 8 meters. So if you're spacing the birds by 8 birds per square meter, it would do almost 2,000 birds. Now of course at that time I thought it was a really, really big structure and all my friends and everyone who would see it would be like, wow, what a big structure. And then here comes this structure. So the vision for this farm was that we needed to become as big as possible while offering the best that we can. So build for generations, you know, build something that will last quite a number of years, 10, 20 years without having to break down anything. But over here on the farm, for us, space is not a problem. We have at least 400 acres that we can utilize. Well, probably around 200 acres of that can actually be utilized for proper building. But with the right machinery and everything else, we actually have about 400 acres available to us. But then you might think, then why did you decide to build going up instead of putting up another structure? So guys, this is it. I think it's just cheaper going up than going sideways. Even without thinking about saving space, we decided to go up because you see, we use lots and lots of concrete in building this structure. Lots of sand, lots of cement, lots of stones. And having to do that two times, that would just mean too expensive. And it also takes quite an amount to lay all these pillars, to lay, you know, the concrete down. So woodwork is easier to work with. You can see that we used wood for the top part of the floor, yeah? So woodwork is easier to work with, it's quicker to work with, and it's certainly not as expensive as concrete. Well, it's expensive, but not as expensive as concrete. So we decided to do woodwork. So if you take a proper look at our structure, we have all these pillars running all the way. The one thing that we couldn't avoid is we had to make sure that the house drops in a stepwise manner. We couldn't make the house flat because we didn't have the machinery. We didn't have an excavator. We didn't have anything that can help us make the place flat. We would have had to use our hands and that would have been so labor intensive, so time wasting. So we decided to put steps. That's not like the perfect thing. Next time we'll probably try to make it leveled. But it worked out for us and it's good, it's alright. The only problem with that is that on the inside we can't have just one flat level. And that would mean that if we put nothing, the wood shavings are not going to settle at the topmost level. The wood shavings will consistently be swept to the lowermost levels. We have these divisions that you can see right here. This over here. To separate the different levels, you know the drops. You can see that the floor drops from that level. To this level so when we put the wood shavings in on this side 
we have to make sure that the wood shavings don't fall over to the other side. The problem with that though is that if we have a tractor come in and it needs to probably take out the wood shavings during clearing or we need the tractor to bring in wood shavings when we are putting everything out, we can't have it drive through. It would have been perfect if we could have it drive through from the other entrance, you know, an entrance at the very beginning where you see the orange thing and then it drives through to the very end this side. But because we can't do that, we literally have to do it in a very, very slow manner, you know, just pick and put them outside, pick and put them outside, which is quite an amount of work so this is one thing which is not perfect and one of the things that we've learned that we need to correct in the next chicken house it certainly needs to be one level this will save us all this hassle right here guys you can see the chickens i won't move in but you can see the chickens right there from the beginning to the very end the other side so this is the white ones are the females and the red ones are the males these are very, very, very good chickens, Issa Browns. And then in here, you can see that here we only have the males. These were excess males, so we isolated them. And you know, they replace the ones that get tired from the outside. So these are excess males, they're just isolated over here. I leave them. And then over here, we have a very small sick bay. This is for the females that get over mounted you know some of the males get really really aggressive so when the female gets damaged we put her here give her some treatment they get better when they get fine we can take them back the other thing that's literally impossible to miss is how high the spaces on the sides are so if you notice this on this side of the structure the structure is about four meters high this is really really high then the other side it's three meters high of course because there was a drop now right down here we only kept 50 centimeters so from the floor right here to the top which is here is 50 centimeters so that literally means we have three and a half meters this side we have two and a half meters the other side and that's all for ventilation ventilation is so important you can see that it's really really bright out here and this place gets very very hot so it's important for us for ventilation of course the problem that that brings is in case of rain what does happen and number one we put this on the side you can see this on the side to prevent the rain from coming in it's about one and a half meters the length to prevent the rain from coming in so ideally the rain would have to be at a very very steep angle for it to go in that doesn't mean it's not impossible for the rain to come in we all thought that it, that would never happen but recently maybe about two weeks ago we had a very 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 strong rain and the rain came in so we're going to have to put another solution on my other farm i never had this problem never ever had this problem the rain would never you know come at such a steep angle here it's really really windy and so we've had that problem over here so the option is that you're going to put tarpaulin that's going to be falling from up to down or moving to the sides we haven't yet decided exactly how we're going to do it but maybe in the next one or two weeks we're going to get the tarpaulin and put it that way when you're going to be getting rain we can just drop it down uh, and make sure that the rain doesn't come inside that's the plan then we built a stairway you can see the stairway right here I'm going up. It's quite a good one. It's made from timber. You can see the timber. And the purpose of this stairway is to ensure that the feed goes up effortlessly. So the feed is pushed up on a wheelbarrow. For now, you know, we've still failed to make our pulley system very functional. We want to really make it functional. That way, we don't have to do any pushing to bring the feed up. Otherwise, for now, the feed has to be pushed up manually on this stairway. I'll walk up the stairway. It, it spirals all the way up till you reach the top floor. And at this point, you get to the second floor or the top floor of the structure. I'll open and we go in. Okay, here we are. So the top floor is built completely differently from the bottom floor. It's mainly made from wood, as you can see. Both the floor, the supporting structures on the side, everything is made from wood because wood number one is lighter we don't want a very heavy structure number two wood is quicker to work with compared to concrete and number three wood is cheaper so we have these posts that are supporting the pillars that will go up to support the roof on the top floor we shall walk to the top floor and then you can see that the idea is exactly the same even on the sides just like it is for the bottom floor you can see that we just have some little space here 
50 centimeters on the floor and then the remaining two and a half meters is nothing we shall have our laying boxes fixed inside here and in case you're wondering what these are these are our feeder pipes these feeder pipes bring feed from the top i'm going to show you the details when we go to the top and they take the feed down to the lower floor it's through this that we deliver the feed to the chickens and you can see they run all the way to the other end because currently we only have the chickens occupying the lower floor from the beginning the other side right up to the last pipe that we have here so this is the only section that we do need to feed currently and this feeding system works perfectly for us because it prevents us from having to enter the chicken structure and that increases biosecurity we don't want the birds sick in any means you don't that's the last thing you want on a farm and then we have the mesh we have two kinds of mesh right here we have the thicker mesh that you can see here this one is to protect from you know bigger animals and human beings going inside here and then we have the thinner chicken mesh on the inside that's to prevent birds from going inside you don't want any birds going inside your chicken house so we have a walkway right here this is on the outside of the top floor for the house and then you can see the roof the roof runs the same distance probably a little longer than this probably around two meters out that's to prevent rain from coming on the inside because you don't want that and then we have a balcony right here the purpose of this balcony is of course to act as a balcony prevent someone from you know falling over just in case they trip you don't want any accidents and now we'll move to the very top this is where we have our feeding area so the wheelbarrow has to continue all the way up i know it's quite some work but nothing we can do about it for now we are going to find a solution for it you can see the pulley system right here Ah, I hope you guys can see it. I know it's too bright, but you can see the ropes here and the the pulley right there at the top. This is supposed to help us to bring the feed up. It's not functional yet, but it will be functional very soon. This is the door to the feeding area. It also has wire mesh to make sure that birds don't come in. You don't want any birds entering your poultry unit. It's very, very disastrous. And when you close, you make sure you close it well so that nothing comes inside. And then you can see we have a rail down on the bottom. That's to ensure that the wheelbarrow moves very smoothly to the very end without having a bumpy ride. And then on the side, you can see that we have a balcony. The purpose of this balcony is, again, to ensure that someone doesn't top over. Whoever is serving the food, in case they lose attention or they're not concentrating, they won't fall over and you'll have catastrophic results. You can see that that's the top floor of the structure. That's where the next lot or batch of birds is going to be. And these are our feeding pipes, yeah? You can see this feeding pipe. Very, very easy to use. Someone just puts a funnel on top of the pipe and then they pour the food. The food will just go all the way through to the bottom and it will go to the birds that are at the bottom. We're going to have to use the same exact system for this floor for the birds. And you can see that we have some residue pipes inside there that we're going to be using for this work. That's very, very important because we want to minimize any form of entry. Up here, there is no direct contact with the chickens. So in case someone forgot to maybe wash their hands or their boots are dirty, it won't be as catastrophic as the option of coming into direct contact with the chickens right on their bottom floor. So this one provides better safety and security for us. Biosecurity, most important thing in poultry raising. And you might be wondering, it should be very hot inside here on a scorching day. No way guys, it's actually quite hot today on the outside, but I think because of the aeration, because of all the space on the sides to bring in the air, over here we have nice cool air, even right under the iron sheets. It's not really hot, so that means the structure was really well built. Then this is where our water tanks are going to be. You can see it. It's quite high, and we're going to have two 10,000 liter capacity tanks at the very top. That makes it 20,000 liter. Those will be reservoir tanks. And then we're going to have two 1,000 liter tanks at the bottom on the next level. So, and then we're going to have other two tanks on the other side. So, four 1,000 liter tanks, that's 4,000. And then two 10,000 liter tanks at the top. That's the purpose of this over here, to provide our water for us. And in case you're wondering what this tarpaulin is for, number one, it's to prevent rain from going in when it rains a lot. And number two, it's to prevent the sun, which is actually the more important thing. During the evenings, we have the sun coming in from the top side. A bit of the sun goes in and the chickens can pile over there. And if you're not careful, they could suffocate. 
so that's the purpose of this so that's it guys of course it's not perfect like i've shown you there are a lot of things that need to be corrected with the next structure the next structure is going to be built right here just next to this one 30 or 40 meters away and that should be able to take up probably the same capacity of birds because we want to get as big as possible so guys tell me what you think about this structure i would be interested to know your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell lots of love catch you very soon with another video bye bye